Hey everybody, this is Coach D here, your friend from TackleTrading.com, and I am so excited to have you here. I've taught tens of thousands of people how to trade over the years, and it's really important that you understand the option Greeks. And in this video, we'll take a deep dive into the options Greek row. <music> Now, of course, if you haven't downloaded the Tackle Trading Options Greeks guide, that quick guide, uh, you need to click on this link here and do that. Again, it'll help you learn all those Greeks, give you a quick reference, help you learn this stuff quickly. Now, that options pricing uh, system, the, the Black-Scholes model, again, is the calculus. It's the algorithm that these five key variables uh, go into. And row is, again, how sensitive that option premium is to the cost of money, the cost cost of uh, borrowing money again. And it, the risk-free interest rates are what we want to focus on here to understand how, how sensitive the option premiums are to changes in those rates. Now, here's a quick definition for you. Rho is the rate at which the price of an option changes relative to a change in the risk-free interest rate. And that's again at a 1% increment. Now, Rho is again the measure of an option sensitivity to those interest rate changes. And uh, Rho measures the sensitivity of an option or it can actually also measure an entire portfolio of options uh, to those changes in interest rates. Now, what interest rates are we talking about? Well, Rho's complex formula is calculated as the first derivative of the option's value with respect to that risk-free rate. And the risk-free rate that we're talking about is the U.S. Treasury bills. And again, if those Treasury bills' interest rates were to change 1% up or 1% down, that's going to affect the option premium at the rate of Rho. And again, they consider them risk-free interest rates because, again, it's a U.S. Treasury bill. And the government, in theory, always pays that uh, on that bill. So now, if you had an increase of plus or minus 1%, the option premium is going to change at the rate of Rho. And if we had a Rho of 0 0.20, well, then that means the option premium would change 20 cents. So again, that's 20 cents per share. Now, again, that little letter P you see there, that's what Rho looks like in the Greek alphabet. Now, here is an options chain you can see we got Microsoft and you can see this column here for row and we can see that at the strike price 110 115 that they have a row of 0.23 and 0.19 well that means if we saw interest rates rise one percent on those treasury bills well the 110 option would change 23 cents and the 115 option would change 19 cents and if you look over here at the put side again you can see the same thing that the 110 has a row of 0.24 and the 115 has a row of 0.31 and again if we saw a 1% increase or decrease in the interest rates those options premiums would change 24 and 31 cents approximately uh, in response to the change in the interest rate and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the vega, the theta, the gamma, the rho, the delta, the stock price, all of these variables that we've been learning about in the Black-Scholes model and the option Greeks. Again, we now have a pretty clear understanding of all of them and how they get put into the options pricing model. And again, a couple of supply and demand get spits out that options value in real time. I really hope you've enjoyed this video series on the Black-Scholes model and the options Greeks as much as I have been making it. And and again, make sure you click like, give us a like, give us a share. And again, if you haven't, subscribe so you can follow us on YouTube and get more awesome videos just like this one. And uh, we also would love for you to have the opportunity to come find our other little training video series here. So you can go click on a link on YouTube and find the next video series for you to enjoy. We'll see you there.